Hey there, Adam here. Today I want to show you how I can take a, uh, basically a voice memo and uh, turn it into a nice, comprehensive, well-designed uh, wiki post. So I, I use MediaWiki for my policies and procedures for my business, and I, it is just a nice, clean way to do it. Open source, I quite like it that way. You could also do the same thing with Notion or uh, any of the other sort of project management tools. So I use I use GPT, ChatGPT, and also Fireflies. So I wanted to show you what I did. So you'll see on the screen that this is a transcript. So the original uh, voice file, I'll play just a short bit of it just to sort of show you. Okay, so here's how it's a it's a three and a half minute video or voice recording uh, talking about how to use ChatGPT to generate a blog post. So this is the process I've been doing just to add some more blog posts to a couple of my different websites. So let me just play, oh, let's play like the first minute of, or, minute of it or so. Okay, so here's how our process for how we're going to make new articles using ChatGPT. So first, you need to come up with a list of topics. You can do this by feeding into GPT four or five topics that are similar to the area that you want to explore further and then asking it to uh, produce a list of 10 new topics that readers of these first five or six, however many you put in there, uh, would be interested in learning more about. So this can be as simple as, let's say we're doing uh, on uh, project management. Let's just say we have an article on Zettelkasten. Let's say we have an article on slip notes and just sort of a generalized article on why uh, personal knowledge management is so important. All right, so that this is the voice file, three and a half minutes long. I then this I then went into uh, Fireflies, which is my uh, voice AI transcript tool of choice. You will see that it created. I uploaded it. You'll see that it created this transcript. I then download the transcript into a Word file. This is the transcript. Uh, I didn't check it at all. I'm sure there's a couple errors in here, like H, you know. O N E big one H T W O. <laughs> it obviously was not sure what to do with header tags H one H two H three is what I was trying to say. So then I just took this text and then I went into Chat GPT. So I told it that I was going to give it a transcript of a voice recording. I want to turn this voice recording uh, into policy to put into a MediaWiki page. Please use the MediaWiki styles and headers. Stick to the same method, but take liberties with formatting and word choice to make it into a written guide. So then this portion is just the copy-paste directly from that Word document. I even got the all right, thank you, bye, that I have in all my <laughs> voice notes, <laughs> which I don't know why I did in this, but hey. So then it spat out this right here. And this is the correct formatting. So you see that it actually has all the steps. Generate a list of topics. It even includes my examples, that'll cast in slip notes, personal knowledge management. Step two create an outline, step three, write the article, step four, and then this got a little wrong. So it says, prepare the article for MediaWiki. I said, I told it to prepare the article for WordPress. So for some reason it decided it was supposed to be MediaWiki. So you'll see this is actually really easy to fix. I said, I actually wanna prepare the article for WordPress, not MediaWiki for steps four and five. And then you'll see, it says, okay, here you go. Prepare the article for WordPress, WordPress editor. Publish the article on WordPress. So then I can just do this. Grab it, copy, and then here is one of my wikis, just my personal wiki. Please don't break into it. I don't think you can, but don't. Copy and paste. Then I'm going to save. And there you go. You got your little guide. And this skips all the writing. You can just talk. You just make a voice memo, turn it into a transcript, copy and paste it into ChatGPT. It does all the formatting for you. I am definitely going to use this for the start of all of my new policy pages for our law firm moving forward. I'm just going to talk through it out loud uh, and then turn it into a, a page, and then I can just go through and edit. It really, you know, I think GPT at this point is used to do sort of the initial step, and then you just go back and clean it up and fix it, edit, tweak. Uh, you can, of course, ask GPT for additional changes or suggestions, but. Right now, I really feel like it's just so good for that initial push, because uh, it just does all the formatting, saves me a ton of time. You know, this copy, this copying and pasting, 
took two minutes to just you know drop because I'm going to save this little thing as a uh, template. So I just copy paste, copy paste, and then I'll get this. So I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, I'm definitely going to continue to do a good bit of content on GPT and AI moving forward. I suspect that's going to be the main focus of the channel to some degree. Uh, I'm still going to talk about Obsidian because I like Obsidian and I'm still using it just as much. You can actually see it's open. I So yeah, that's that's where we're at. I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.